Hello, my stars. I want to thank those who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. I really do enjoy making these videos. Um, it's a bit addictive, actually. I feel that we're bonding. And, and I'm not being corny about that. I really feel that. Like, I feel that. I'm not just saying that. So anyway, Netflix, Sandman, um, review... 10 out of 10 with a plus. So 10 plus. That's the highest I can go since it's out of 10. And I'm actually in the process of watching it a second time. I don't actually remember each episode. I rewatched the first episode again. So I'll talk about the first episode of Sandman on Netflix. Why do I love it so much? So the premise of it is that the... Um, What's it called? The uh, he's like the the god of dreams. He controls the dreams, so he's the Sandman, and and this is um a way to talk about dreams in a way that we can relate to it and and understand them a bit better. Like why do we dream? Everyone does it, and we can't even explain it. Like what is it? Why do we do it? Why do we need it? Um. Why are we happier from it, more relaxed from it? And this is just as true as just entering your head, your mental space during the day and you can find like incredible tranquility and peace in like the five minutes you spend in your head, alternatively called meditation. And I feel that this is also what Sandman goes into, that it's such a powerful thing to go into the dream realm, which is what it is about. And so it creates these two realms, the real world and the dream world. <clears throat> and then the god of dreams is the main character. Now, when I was a kid... I actually loved going into my like dream space when I would play video games. I really liked to believe to like enhance what was given to me and furthermore to believe that I am there in some way and that it is in my life in some way and I was so much happier from it. I felt so much more powerful. And then the real world felt so mundane by comparison so that Netflix would actually make a topic about the dreamscape, the dream world. I admire that to bits. It's just so spot on the way they do it, like how important it is and how much we lose in the real world if we stop dreaming, if we're, um, you know, if we're losing our way, which one couldn't argue, as Netflix does in this, that we are losing our way and we're not um, in sync with nature, with peace, with meditation, with people and so on. Now, I, like I said, I'll just talk about the first episode um, in this one. So, I um, could never have villainified humans as well as they did in the first episode of Sandman and I tried because I have a bit of a history of doing some writing myself didn't didn't take off but <laughs> I tried and um and so what happens in the first episode humans decide a, a human but let's just say plural is more than one would do it they decided to imprison the god of dreams because for their own selfish um, purpose, which was to bring back someone who died, like to sort of cheat the laws that, you, you know, you're not in the position to change. And then the god of dreams would not grant this wish to bring back a person that the other character lost. And so then the character would imprison the god of dreams for the rest of their life. So the person 
who um, imprisoned the God of Dreams, he would age, and then he would pass away. The God of Dreams was still imprisoned. Then his son, who initially said, I'll let you out, like when he was a kid, but then the son grew up, and after the father passed away, then the son was in charge of the God of Dreams. And guess what? The son doesn't let him out either. And towards the end, he says, like, I just want to be rid of you. I'm so sick of having you here. Well, he, didn't, he didn't want to release him. And to um, make a villain of the God of Dreams, that is so much hubris. And it does seem to me like something that humans would do. Not everyone, but it seems like a human thing. I can I know better than the God of Dreams. What do they know? They know nothing. As a human who's just a mere mortal, I can do better. Like so I love the way they did that. And I love the why the acting from the main character, the way he's um like from a different dimension. And he conveys as much that his mind is always somewhere else. And in the dream world, he's created something very beautiful. And this also touches base with what we can do in our own mental space. We can create something beautiful in our own dream world. And it can give us a lot of happiness. I've felt that a lot when I was younger. I'm a little older now, so I don't feel it as much as I used to. Furthermore, as I always say, I've got a fiance now who um, maybe she'll appear one day on one of these videos. So anyway, he's got the dream uh, dimension and I just think it's brilliant because people without the dreams, they lose everything and... And there was like a pandemic when the God of Dreams was imprisoned because people couldn't sleep like other people. And actually, I wonder if this is based on some true event where this was like a phenomenon that was happening. People like millions of people were not able to sleep. I would wager it may be tried and just not learned on what it was and, and the details of it. Um, so... And towards the end of the first episode, the God of Dreams does escape. So he's back. And um, and he's very powerful. I like that a lot. I like how they just fuse this world of dreams with the real world. And it's like they both exist at the same time. It's so believable the way it's executed. You can only praise it. Um, the God of Dreams wants to catch this nightmare that went rogue. It was meant to stay in the dream world, but is now in the amongst the people in the real world. And um, the God of Dreams wants to uh, bring this nightmare back. I like the way they show the nightmare because it's a person. Because he um, doesn't really have a soul and you see that in his behavior and there are real people who behave in a very similar way and I find that very interesting and I, I'm not a huge fan of the eye thing they did though just a heads up where um, because he the nightmare is a creation he his eyes don't look normal and that's all I'll say I you know I'm a little sensitive to that sort of thing but I do like the character otherwise. Normally, usually, this character wears glasses, so you don't see the eyes. And um, and and I um, saw Netflix is saying there'll be more episodes coming, so that's great news. Um, Netflix, 10 out of 10. Sandman, 10 out of... Excuse me, Netflix, 10 plus out of 10. Sandman... 10 plus out of 10. Totally worth the money. Um, even if you just watch one thing in a month, 
you get your money's worth. 